The next piece I'd like to play for you has uh, some very deep meaning uh, reaching back to actually my childhood and growing up here in Johnston County and is inspired by the passing of a young son of a very dear childhood friend of mine. Weighing only 24 pounds and standing only three feet tall, Landon Johnson had one of the rarest types of dwarfism called ligase four, one of only 28 that are known in the world. His condition was a type that caused his immune system not to function properly. Landon's father was Luke Johnson, uh, my friend from growing up, and we played basketball together. But Luke is now a pastor of a church in Lincolnton, North Carolina, and he, he has this account of his, his son Landon coming to him and, and saying, Daddy, I want to be big like you are. And uh, Landon was indeed big and an inspiration to not only those around him in his community, but to thousands around the world who followed his story through the many articles that were written about him, stories, social media, um, and also a documentary film made about him. As his mother, Amanda, stated, we all have a purpose and there are no limits to what we are capable of doing. Luke shared what Landon had taught him through his short life saying in his own words, he was very open about his faith. Even when things got hard, Landon never complained. He always thought of others, uh, was always concerned for others. Even up until the last few weeks, he was concerned for other people. Luke said that uh, Landon impacted more people in his nine years on earth than he probably ever would in his lifetime, uh, many times over. Landon passed away on September 13th of 2019 uh, at only nine years old, but his story is proof that a life, no matter how short or fraught with ailment, can impact the world in ways which we may never be able to comprehend. I wrote this piece with Landon in mind after hearing this news, even though I never had the, uh, the pleasure of meeting him. I had always loved this hymn, At the Cross, which to me somehow has this almost childlike innocence uh, inherent in the music somehow. I'm not sure even how to describe it. So I, when I heard this news, I, I felt that that was the thing to do. I had to incorporate this into, I don't know, some kind of classical form. And, and so that's the result of this piece, uh, the elegy for Landon Johnson. Mm -hmm. 